Hey, it's Joel, the 3D Printing Nerd, and welcome to part three of my Sleeper Simulant series. Let's do it. Are you ready? Go. Ooh, I'm very happy to announce that I have the very first official sponsor of my channel, and that's Printed Solid. Printed Solid is where I went this last weekend in order to help with the grand opening of the brick and mortar store because they've been online for the past couple years. I've worked out some details and now Printed Solid is an official sponsor of the 3D Printing Nerd. And don't forget, down in the description there's a link to Printed Solid and if you use that link to buy all sorts of 3D printing filament accessories or printers themselves, I will get a little bit of Scooby Snacks because that's how an affiliate link works. Okay, back to the show. Ah, welcome back. So in case you're wondering, yes, this is the sleeper simulant from Destiny and this is a freaking awesome gun. It's huge and, but it, look at that, it's steady. I can, it's got metal through it, threaded, threaded metal and it holds it all together along with some super glue. And I, I've got some more parts to put on it. Here, let me show you. Let's start with the sight. The sight is this piece right here, and it goes right here on the model. Not a bad place to put it. The only issue is, <laughs> let's, see if, let's see if I can show you. It's got a, what is that, a dovetail joint? Something like that. It's meant to slide into these grooves right here on the gun, and then, and before you glue it together, I've already glued it together. Crap. So here's what I did. Let me show you. I printed a new one. Here, look at this. Let's see if, let's see if you can see the difference. Let me get close. Let me get real close. So this one has those angled pieces. And this one, well, this one does not. I used Tinkercad and I brought this model, well, this model in and I put it like this. And then I used big rectangular holes and I put it onto the sides where the angled parts were, and then I joined them all together, or grouped them, I think. Tinkercad uses group. And then, excuse me. Then that was it, that was it. Well, I mean, that wasn't it, because I did have to print it out, and I printed it out in purple, and the purple looks pretty good. So to put it on the gun, all I need to do is put some glue in these lines, and then hold it in place. Let's. Let's do it. Okay, I've got my glue right here. And I'm gonna put some glue on this. Okay, this is the, this is the gel. It should do a good job. I'm using a lot apparently. Yeah, crud. <laughs> I'm really good at this, aren't I? Okay, there's plenty of glue on this. It shouldn't come off in a long time. Okay, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna put it right on, just like, or no, just like. I almost put it on. I almost put it on backwards. Okay, it goes like this. Here we go. There we go. Get in there. Get right in there. Awesome. It fits. It fits in the grooves, and the glue is making contact. Okay, this won't be too bad. Maybe. Maybe this will work. Uh, fingers crossed. Here's what I did. I went and got some magical blue tape. Blue painter's tape. It holds models together. You put the CA glue or the super glue or whatever you wanna call it on the pieces and then use the blue tape to put it together. Oh, stop that. And then it just holds it. And then when you're done, you take the blue tape off. It's that easy, usually. Uh, oh, okay, so now the next thing, the next thing to do, let me grab it. Is this, this is the mag and the mag gets here. There's two holes in there though. I think you can see those. And uh, the, the, threaded, the threaded rod goes in those holes and then it slides up on either side of the trigger and that's where that gets held in place. But like a person who doesn't plan very well, this piece right here, I printed this on the Robo with the Protopasta Natural PLA, and I said, throw some supports in because it needs supports. 
That was easy. But the little hole on either side where the threaded rod is supposed to go now is filled with supports and I can't get it out easily. So now I have to use a drill. That side's done, let's do this side. Oh, this is gonna end badly. So badly. I'm close. <laughs> I didn't destroy it. And it worked. Okay. Smells like burning plastic, of course. Uh, okay, let me get some threaded rod ready and then uh, we'll just glue it all together. Well, slight change of plans. In my haste, I did not match the drill bit to the size of the threaded rod. So now I've got a slightly larger drill bit and then I'll go in, in, in here. And then I do, Chuck is good. Let's drill it out again. Hold on to your butts. <laughs> that was relatively painless for me. Hmm. Let's see if the threaded rod fits. Here's rod. And does it go in? Oh, I can. Looks like I can, oh, I can thread it in. That's kind of exciting. I should probably still glue it. I mean, that makes sense, right? But, but being able to thread it in, well, now we're, now we're cooking with gas. Oh, come on. Uh, okay. This part is hard. So you go in here. Okay, it's threading. That's kind of cool. These are threaded in. God, that'll make gluing so much easier. And this will go like, right here. <laughs> that'll work. That'll work, let me add some glue. Glue. I'm awfully surprised at how well this is going. I didn't think it would be going this well. Okay, got some, some glue in there. This gel control, this is the stuff, man. This is great. Okay, get in there. Put a little bit right here at the end. There we go. Oh, oh, a little bit extra. Now let's attach this. Uh, okay, I'll put some Glue along here and along here because I don't want it to fall off. And then right along here and right along here. Yeah, okay. Maybe a little right there. A little right there. And put the cap back on. Okay. Here we go. All right, that's it. That looks good. All I need to do now is add some blue tape to hold it in place. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, sadly, I did have to make a decision with this sleeper simulant and I can't do it as authentic as I want. And here's why. There's these two little pieces left over. This big piece right here. This goes right over the mag and it fits like that. It'll glue easily and I'm, I'm not worried about that. The other piece, this piece right here, this, this weird looking ladder thing, this is supposed to fit into these grooves right here and then it's supposed to go up against the back of the mag. The only problem is then you're, you have to grip the gun like this and this is squishing my finger and it's not comfortable. So rather than be uncomfortable when attempting to hold the gun, this piece is not going to be installed on the gun. And I hope you still love me and I love you because that's 
crazy pants, right? I, if I wanna hold this comfortably, I just can't install that piece. And I know it's not authentic, but you know what? Here is what's gonna happen when this gets painted. It's gonna have some battle wounds to it. It's gonna, it's, it's been used in battle. And so that piece fell off in battle. I'm sure of it. The only thing left to do is glue this piece in its place. And I can put some glue in there. I'll put some glue right, right here. Okay, now let me, where does this set down? So if I do that. I think it just, I think it just exists in that spot right there, I think. I'm gonna add a little, well, let's see if it, Touch the glue, not really. Okay, I'm gonna add more glue because <laughs> that's the solution to everything, right? Add more glue. There we go, get some up there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there's no way it's not gonna touch the glue now. There's a lot of glue in there. Ah, there we go. Good, it's made, it's made contact. Okay, I'm gonna put some tape over this. I'll be right back. There we go. The sleeper simulant is now assembled. It's got some glue in there that needs to dry, but the site is now on and the site is right there and the mag is now on. And if I back up, it actually, ooh, there we go. It looks like, for the most part, a battle damaged sleeper simulant. I am so happy with the way that this turned out. As far as my first really big cosplay gun piece, I think I did an okay job. Just okay. There's plenty of stuff wrong all over this model, but I don't care. Oh, it's awesome. Oh boy. I've already spoken with Bill Duran, uh, Mr. Punished Props, at Chinbeard on the Twitters, and he is a, an amazing, amazing prop builder. He uses a lot of foam, he does 3D printing, and he casts stuff, and We've already set aside a few dates for a play date to paint this and some of the other 3D printed cosplay weapons that I have in my arsenal. And that will do it for part three of the Sleeper Simulant build series here on my channel. Part four will commence once Bill and I nail down a play date so we can start painting things. Part four of the Sleeper Simulant will involve painting it. Oh, that's exciting because I don't know how to do that and I get to learn. I like learning. Well, hey, give this a thumbs up if this has been fun so far. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions about anything I talked about in this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. That helps me out big time. You can throw me a dollar or more via Patreon right over there if you wanna financially support the channel. However, I'm never gonna require it. And I'm always gonna do this for free as long as I can. However, I do ask every once in a while for a social high five. And speaking, of high fives. As always, high five. He's Joel Telly and he's printing 3D like some Pokemon, a gun from Destiny. And when you call him a nerd, he'll stand up proudly because he's packing some heat from his YouTube family. He can review printers till he falls to the floor. Then he'll give them away like Oprah in 04. There's the Wombat, Volsbot, G Max XT, then a break for Red Bull and Lobo's Taco Crispy. Printed koozie in his hand for his drink. He sets up his GoPro and prints out a bender bang. So send him a dollar to put in his head or a self addressed envelope for a sticker instead. There's a nerd vlog on boxings and Q's and A's and he'll open your mail every single Friday. And of course you can't forget that pancake bot and filament sonic please and Joel's your little sign. And they printed this printer at Holodex Studio like Lando Calrissian and Freeze Dried Han Solo. So show your support on Patreon or subscribe and as always, high five.